welcome to the Standard Operating Procedure Training Module on Masking Best Practices. This training module will give you good insight on how to select and use the correct temporary surface protection product for each Standard Operating Procedure application you'll be using in the Standard Operating Procedure series of training modules. You will learn about how to properly prepare for masking and key applications including jam masking, critical edge masking as well as overspray protection and finally masking removal tips. In getting started the preparation for masking includes an important step about preparing the surface that you'll apply the masking product to. Begin by cleaning it with a water-based cleaner followed by a solvent cleaner. Make sure you dry it thoroughly before the application of any masking products. Then check the environment. Ensure proper surface temperature between 60 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And finally, determine your masking needs based on the repair procedure that you'll be doing. Some key considerations for product selection include, will you be painting across a door jam or up to a door jam? Will you be spraying sealer, etc.? Key applications, jam masking, and other areas. Soft edge foam tape applies quickly. It helps to seal the jam by producing a disposable gasket. It also helps transition coatings to produce a soft paint edge. A smooth transition tape helps eliminate sealer creep and it helps produce cosmetically acceptable paint lines. Some application considerations include making sure that you position the tape within the jam properly and ensuring that once the tape is applied you press down on the entire surface area. Another key application is critical edge masking. You can outline the repair area with wide masking tape. Avoid overstretching the tape during application. Make sure you press down on the entire surface area of the tape and use specialty tapes as necessary. The use of trim masking tape to lift and mask gaskets and moldings will ensure a good quality job when you're done. Use fine line tapes to mask accessories that are not removed. Another key application is overspray protection. Overspray protective sheeting should be applied when the car is thoroughly dry. Pull the plastic sheeting over the entire car and drape it. Ensure the correct side of the film is against the vehicle. Cut out the repair area and tape the sheeting around the edge of the repair. During masking tape removal, the environmental temperature is important. Ideally, this is between 60 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit. The angle at which you remove the tape from the painted surface is also important. This would be at 90 degrees. When removing foam, stretch it parallel to the car. Try to maintain a moderate speed when removing the tape. This marks the end of this training module. Thank you for your time and attention.